Today's story, Too Many Toys, by David Shannon. Spencer had too many toys. They covered the floor of his bedroom and piled up in his closet. They were stashed under his bed. They spilled down the stairs and into the living room. He had big toys in the backyard and little toys in the bathtub. Sometimes Spencer played with nice, quiet, wooden pool toys. Other times he played with noisy, crazy electronic toys. He had puzzles, board games, and talking books that fueled his mind, and loud, jumpy, frenzied video games that didn't. Spencer liked to make his toys into a parade that stretched from one corner of the house to the other and back again. There was an entire zoo of stuffed animals and a gigantic army of little action figures. He had a fleet of planes, trains, and toy boats, and a convoy of miniature trucks and cars. He also had lots and lots of musical instruments, art supplies, and alien spaceman weapons. Everyone gave toys to Spencer. Of course, his mom and dad did, but so did Grandma Bobo and Poppy and Granddaddy and Auntie Mim and Uncle Fred and Cousin Drew. They gave him toys for every holiday, even the 4th of July and his birthday. He also got toys from all his friends on his birthday, and on their birthdays, too, when he went to their parties. He got toys at the drive through with his kid burger, and at school for having lots of peace person points, and at the dentist and the doctor when he didn't squirm. That's a lot of toys. They were becoming a household hazard. Have you ever stepped on a Lego piece in your bare feet? Or a jack? Well, it really hurts. Especially if you weigh as much as Spencer's dad. You can also trip on things like railroad tracks and race cars if you're carrying a load of laundry. One day, Spencer's mom had had it up to here with all the toys. Spencer, she yelled on her way upstairs, you have too many toys. That's impossible, thought Spencer. Then she said, we're going to get rid of some of them. That's a catastrophe. Pick out which toys you don't want, she ordered, and put them in this box. But I love them all, Spencer cried. All right, his mother said, I'll help you. She picked up an alien space ninja. How about this one? You haven't played with this in years. But I was just about to. Spencer, his mother said, it doesn't have a head. I'm making him a new one, Spencer replied. Fine, said Spencer's mother, but this can definitely go. She put down the alien and picked up a filthy one-eared bunny. Not Mr. Fluffer's mom, how could you? This one then, she said. That's Mr. Fluffer's best friend. This one? Mother, have you forgotten? Grandma Bobo gave me that on my fourth birthday, and I'll never be four again, ever. Oh, please, Spencer, said his mom, rolling her eyes. Don't be so dramatic. Okay, she said, you can keep that one, but I'm giving away this pig and the Johnny Choo Choo. Tell you what, countered Spencer, I'll let you have the pig, but I get Johnny Choo Choo. What are you, a lawyer now? asked Spencer's mother. You can keep Johnny Choo Choo, but the cow goes in the box too. Deal? How about two gitchy gummies instead, said Spencer, and I'll throw in a little peeper of your choice. How about all of them go in the box or you don't watch TV for a week? 
Spencer decided it was in his best interest to agree. Deal. Finally, some toys in the box, sighed Spencer's mom. I had no idea this would be so much work. She plopped down on the floor next to an egg-shaped pirate that bellowed, Arr, avast ye scurvy dog! Avast, our scurvy dog! Dervy og! Dervy og! Here's another one you can do without, she said. No problem, said Spencer. His mom nearly fell over. What? You're going to give it up just like that? Sure, Spencer replied. That's Dad's. So Spencer and his mom went through every toy box and looked in every closet and under every bed until they had haggled and wrestled and argued over every toy in the entire house. Finally, they were finished, and his mom had a cup of hot tea and a short rest. Then she went upstairs to begin loading the toys into the car. But instead of a nice, neat box of toys all ready to go, she saw a big, messy pile of toys all over the floor. Spencer, she screamed, what have you done? We had a deal. You were right, Mom, Spencer called from his bedroom. I do have too many toys, but we can't give away this box. It's the best toy ever. The end.